Right guys, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to play single player slash custom maps on Minecraft with your friends online. No local area network, LAN stuff. Proper online. So the very first thing you want to do, some of you will already have this done, but you want to set up your own server. This video, the guy does really well at teaching you step by step how to set up your own server. So I'm going to leave a link in the description to this video. And if you watch the entire video, you'll be able to get your own server set up. If you don't know how to do port forwarding, then don't worry, it's it should be very simple. But if you're not allowed access to your router settings or anything, then just ask your parents to follow this video and they should be able to do it for you. When you've got your server set up, if you followed the step by step in that video, there should be a folder that you've named on your computer somewhere which holds your server info. So mine is just called Minecraft Server, it's on my desktop. You'll have all of these different files that come with the server. And the two that you're focusing on is your executable jar file, which is the actual server, and your properties file, which deals with all the settings for your server. And I've got Bingo here, which is a custom map I downloaded from my Minecraft World Map. And it's something that I'm going to be playing possibly on my channel, maybe just on live stream, because I was trying to live stream this with Nathan yesterday, but I had a load of trouble. I was searching for help and I couldn't really find any help to get it to work. But now I've managed to figure it out for myself. I thought I'd share the like share my knowledge with you guys so that you can do it and have some fun. So you can go to any website that you can download Minecraft maps from. And on here, if you want to do bingo, just go to browse. And then if I actually click it, go to search. Then you want to type in bingo and search that then minecraft bingo 3.0 for 1.9 then you want to click direct download it will save the file to wherever your saves are from your internet mine is my desktop it'll come up with a WinRAR file if you just open that extract the folder to your desktop if you've done that game mode like that server thing for minecraft i don't know the, the mini game the bingo mini game it should say on this folder minecraft bingo version 3.0 the reason I've renamed it, I'll explain in a minute. So the next thing you want to do, if you want a single player, all you've got to do is go to my computer or this PC, whatever it is on whatever OS you're running, whether it be 7, 8 or 10. Then you want to go to your C drive, users, and then click on your user. You'll need to enable to be able to see hidden folders on your computer because you need to find app data which is actually hidden. There's plenty of tutorials out there. I'll try and find a good one that explains how to do that on different operating systems and stuff. And I'll link them in the description. So you want to go to app data, roaming.minecraft, which should be the very top one, and then saves. This is where all of your single player worlds go. And I've not put bingo in there because I don't want it single player. I want it multiplayer. But this is just for getting, say you've built a city on Minecraft, you want to show it off to your friends then this will be where to come to find your single player save. So the next thing you want to do is we'll grab bingo, put it in here. And the reason, just going to quickly close this so that it sorts itself out. The reason we've renamed it is because in your properties file, when you've got all of this, this should be exactly how it is on mine, except for maybe build survival. Yours wouldn't be called that. But once you've set up the server from the video that I showed you at the very beginning, this is what it should look like in your notepad. So there's two very important things. One of them, the maps aren't actually playable in multiplayer without it, which is what was stopping me from doing it yesterday. It's this one at the very top. Enable command block is set to false. So that means when there's command blocks which have set up certain stuff for the game, they won't actually work. Then level name. This is the second important one. As you can see, it says world. And there's a folder here that says world. That means it's going to load that one into the server, that specific folder, and that's just a normal survival. So if I change this to bingo, and then save it, that will mean that when I load in my server to Minecraft, it will be the bingo one and not a normal survival. And then any other ones, like if you want to get rainbow parkour, you can go to your single player saves, get your own worlds, put them into your server folder, Rename them to something simple, just or you can copy and paste their name into here. 
you've got to load up your server properties which is a properties file and then just change where it says level name change it to whatever that folder is named make it exactly the same name as the folder otherwise i don't think it's going to work and then what you want to do is you want to come up to here and you want to change this to true i'm not going to do this now because i'm going to show you exactly what happens when you don't do it but this is literally the only thing that was stopping me from doing stuff on minecraft yesterday i spent the whole day trying to work it out so hopefully this saves you guys a lot of time so there's nothing else you really need to change in here so as long as it's all saved you want to come out of that now when you're loading up a multiplayer server from your own server you need to have this open your executable jar file or executable i don't know how you want to say that word but i'm going to say executable and it will load in you can see here which one is loaded it will say preparing level bingo and then it will say done that means your server is ready to play on minecraft Right, once you're on Minecraft, what you want to do is you want to come to Multiplayer. I've got Vicstar Server here. You want to add a server, and then we're just going to name it Bingo, not Bing2, Bingo. Your server address, this is only for the person that's hosting. You need to type in local host. And as long as you've got your server open, the executable jar file, then it should come up like this. And we'll load into Minecraft Bingo. And it's going to spawn us up here. So we're going to go TP 150, 150, 150. That's going to teleport us to here. Yes, this is from an older version of Minecraft Bingo. It says there, are you a veteran? Turn around. Go here, right click, return to the lobby. So once you're in here, this is the lobby, like the main starting room for Minecraft Bingo. You're going to see these teams you can join. There's red, blue, yellow, and then green. Around here, there is going to be command blocks. These are what tell your game what to do sort of thing. So if we come around to here, if we want to make a random card, it's not going to work. And that's exactly where me and Nathan got to yesterday when I was trying to play this. You're supposed to be able to right click on these and launch into Minecraft Bingo. But it doesn't work because in the server properties, as I showed you, command blocks are off. So if we come back out of this, I'll show you what to do and stuff, and then launch it back up, and I'll show you that it works. Then I'll explain how to actually get your friends onto the server. Right, as you can see now, it's come up that I've joined the game, lost connection, blah, 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 then I've left the game. So you want to do, you want to type in stop, and then press enter. That's going to automatically close down your server. So no one else can join and stuff like that. But it's going to make sure that everything has saved. So now go back into the properties. Go down to where I showed you here. Enable command block is false. All you want to do is change that so that it says true. Nothing else. That is all you have to do. And level name is still bingo. So you save that. And that will allow everything on the custom map to work as it should. That's the only thing I got stuck on, literally changing that from false to true. So we close that down. We will open up our server again. Now I'm going to explain how to get your friends into the server, and I'm just going to show you that it all works now. Right, so that says done, blah, blah, blah. It's launched, prepared, well, it's prepared and launched level, bingo. So we're going to open the game again. Right, so once again, back onto Minecraft multiplayer. I've deleted the server because every time you mess around with server properties, you have to delete it and re like add it sort of thing. So we go to add server. We'll name it Bingo again because that's what the world is that I want to play on. Then server address, you have to do local host, not hosey, local host. Then done. That's going to load back up. We'll press play and then I'll show you. It might even spawn us. Yeah, it spawned us in a different area to what it did last time. Last time it spawned us sort of up here on the bingo card. So we're going to go right click me to begin playing. So we right click. Oh, that's working. Right click me to go to the lobby. There we go. We're in the lobby. We can change team. Red, blue, yellow, green. Then you can see we've even got a bingo card in our hand. Make random card. And then it says choosing random seed. Right, as you can see, all the stuff on this bingo card is slowly changing. See, and being able to do this, now that Nathan's got his PC up and running and stuff, 
I'm going to be able to do bingo without having to manually create bingo cards. Right, so there you go, done. Then you can come over, you can choose a random seed, blah, blah, blah. Then you can actually start the game. Initialize and spawn point for green team. So I've spawned in a lovely place. The world's just got to load in. But there, so all the command blocks and everything now work just because... Oh, look, we're getting a bird's eye view. Just because you enabled command blocks in your server properties, it's all going to work. That's one thing that was stopping me from being able to do it. So, now you're asking, how do I get my friends into my server? That is not something you can do on the game. You have to do this through the internet. And you're going to go to a website. The link will be in the description for the website. It's called whatsmyip.org. I'm not going to show you because that will be giving away my IP address. But if you go to that website, at the very top, it will say your IP. And I believe the guy actually showed that in the video to make your own server. I'm not sure, but if you go to what's my IP, at the top it will say your IP address. All you have to do is get your friend to, in the server address, put your IP address, and that will find your server. And then you'll be able to play any of the games that you've loaded into your server with friends online. Right, I'm trying to think if I've showed you absolutely everything you need to know. Just to save, like, future confusion and stuff. I've showed you this, which is to make your own server. I've showed you Minecraft world map, which is to get custom maps and stuff. I showed you how to find your own IP to give to your friends to find your server. I showed you how to change the properties for the command blocks, which is there. And your level name, which is there. I've also showed you how to launch the server through the executable jar file. I've showed you adding custom maps onto your server. Single player maps is as easy as just going through, I believe, what I've already told you. Go to app data, roam in, dot minecraft, saves. Say we want to do, say me and Nathan want to do rainbow, we'll just drag and drop the save from our single player. This is all your single player saves. Drag and drop it into your server, then go back to the server properties, change your level name to rainbow. Make sure that you name the folders something very simple so that it's not annoying to keep changing the level name every time you want to try something different. I believe that's it. Right, well, that's my little bubba. Ten weeks tomorrow. If there's absolutely anything you're stuck with, I believe I've showed you everything, but if there's anything else, and I hope you understand it because sometimes it can be really difficult to get to grips with. I spent all day yesterday trying to sort it out. But if there's absolutely anything you're stuck with, just leave a comment. I will do my very best to help you. So I hope this video has helped you. Thank you for watching.